All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to share with you the power of the octave. As you see, I was just playing a groove in the beginning. Uh, I was playing some octaves here and there, but I'm going to show you the difference between not playing any octaves in a groove and playing octaves in a groove. All right, so what I did in the beginning, I think the groove... Uh... I'm playing real simple, real simple, no octaves, no anything, no really big fills like that, but I'm going to show you the simple way first, right? So... Now let's put some octaves in there. All right, so I'm playing some octaves in there just as accent notes or on the upbeat, all right? So just the difference between that, I mean, it doesn't sound bad without them at all, but if you want to uh, just kind of enhance that bass line just a little bit more, something just as simple as an octave note on the upbeat or just as that, you know, as that snare or as, you know, just to act as that rhythm or on that downbeat or the upbeat really too. <laughs> So all I'm playing is uh, uh, it's actually in the key of C, almost like a weird, like almost a C or A minor type of thing. Uh, yeah, like an A minor type of thing. So uh, the first note, E, A, D, walk up to the uh, E chromatically, A, just very simple i mean it just makes it bounce just a little bit more i mean i get excited about that kind of stuff i don't know about you guys but just something as simple as a small you know octave one note you know it doesn't have to be a long fill or uh, or anything like that or a long riff it doesn't matter just as simple as simple as an octave you could just add that in there it'll add so much flavor add so much spice to your to your bass line you know just you can practice that just alone I'm, i probably have the the tab or you know just kind of have this written out uh <laughs> Just so you guys can follow along, just I'll create something simple um, just as a baseline. This is just really on the fly. Just wanted to show you guys. I was noticing the difference between a baseline with no octave notes, like a funky baseline with no octave notes versus one without one. Now, you can definitely make it funky without the octave or the, you know, the upper octave or even the lower octave. It doesn't matter it's just how you feel about it. But sometimes just adding that every once in a while uh, just makes the world of a difference. So here it is. Really simple. <laughs> See that one octave? Now play the lower octave there, the E. You know, just something simple like that. Just adding it wherever you want to. Just be creative. It doesn't have to be on a specific downbeat. But I'll add, I'll have this uh, written out for you guys so you can just play the octave every single time. You can pick and choose when you don't want to play that octave. Even something that's plucking one note just randomly out of nowhere. I mean, that's just, I don't know. It just makes me feel a certain way. I get too excited about this kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys get as, as excited as I do about this. But anyway, make sure you're also coming out clean, clear, and precise. I thought that was a fun little groove and a fun little way uh, to implement some octave notes to make that groove that much heavier, that much deeper. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.